Uh, often when we meet people for the first time, some physical characteristic strikes us. Uh, now, what is the first thing you notice in a person? Whether the person is male or female. Uh, this is a little mathematical problem. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, celery and olives? Four olives, three pieces of celery. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, that doesn't happen to be the question. Oh. <laughs> now, a train started out at Grand Central with 17 passengers aboard and a crew of nine. At 125th Street, four got off and nine got on. At White Plains, three got off and one got on. At Chappaqua, nine got off and four got on. And at each successive stop thereafter, nobody got off, nobody got on, until the train reached its next to the last stop where five people got off and one got on. Then it reached the terminal. Well, that's easy. Eleven passengers and a crew of nine. Uh, uh, that's not the question. I'm sorry. How many people got off at uh, Chappaqua? Nine. That's correct. Yes, I know. Uh, would you mind uh, telling me how you arrived at that conclusion? Spooky, isn't it? Did you notice that um, there are also nine letters in Chappaqua? Are you in the habit of uh, associating words, uh, you know, with a number of letters in them? I associate many things with many things. I see. Yeah. Aren't you going to ask me how many people got off at White Plains? Three. But there are ten letters in White Plains. No, eleven. But only three got off there. You see, I've only ever been to White Plains three times in my whole life. Well, uh, uh, supposing you'd only been there twice. But I wasn't. I was there three times. Aren't you going to ask me how many people got on at Croton Falls? There is no Croton Falls uh, mentioned at all in the question. No, but it is the next to the last stop on that line. Anyway, one. Aren't you cold? No, no, no. Don't worry about me. Never get cold. Oh.